So squatting down nice and low, stretching up nice and high, just the warm up stretches at the moment. So not looking for a super high tempo, nothing like that. Just gentle and controlled, getting the body moving. Working through those, just waking up the body to start. Really try and make sure you are getting a full range of motion in there, nice and low. Then really stretch up for your ceiling at the top. Give me a terrible result for me to get the hiccups, but we're all right. And relaxing off those there. Next up, what we need to do is lunge in, drop low, twist over the forward knee. And then reset. So you're stepping in, dipping down, whichever legs forward, turn that direction, back to the front, and then reset. Make sure as you twist, you don't just look over your shoulder, fully rotate the upper body. You want to get the obliques moving, get the core moving, get the lower back moving. So fully rotate. Really want to wake up the whole body. Working through those. Again, these are just the warm up stretches, so nothing too quick. And then just even out on those who've done the same amount roughly on each side. Next one, I'll show you from side on because it's a little easier. Feet hip width apart, toes forward, little bend in the knee. That's ready to roll down, big bend in the back, down to your toes, standing up straight into a wide shape. Really do want to keep these slow and controlled. If you do these super quick, dropping your head low and then standing up straight, it will make you feel a bit lightheaded, might make you feel a little bit wobbly. So just slow and controlled. And the place that we really want that movement is in that lower back portion here. Make sure you're stretching it down, standing up into that Y shape. For loads of people's jobs becoming desk work, more like all over lockdown stuff. It's more and more time spent seated, more and more time that area just doesn't really do anything. So we want to get it moving. Just slowly working through those. And really go for the gymnastics finish at the top, arms up and out, leaning slightly back. Keep gently working through those. Final few repetitions and relax off at the top of your next rep. Final leap for the upper body. Pop your arms out straight, palms facing down one on top of the other. Draw those hands back level. Drive the little fingers up towards the ceiling, twisting your palms up and then back in, alternating that top hand. Just swap in the top hand. Really pull those arms back so you're stretching off the chest, stretching off the shoulders and then just vary the heights a little bit on these. You're going to have some going a little bit lower. Some going a little bit higher. Loads of fibers in the chest and shoulders that we need to get moving. This is the last one of our warm up stretches before we get into the glute workout to start with. And relaxing off there. Right, let's start off on the mats. We're going to start with glute bridges as always, and we do have those two options for it. First one, sitting in that sit up position, laying flat, you're going to press through the heels, drive the hips up, squeeze the glutes here. Your second option for those, 
to go a little bit longer, be on your hands and press through the heels into a full body bridge. Both of those are focusing on the glutes. Just remember that second version, the slightly more advanced one, does require a little bit more upper body strength. So go whichever you prefer. And either way, what I really want you to focus on is that breath out on the way up, squeezing the glutes at the top, and trying to put all your force through the heels of your feet. A few things to remember. If you're feeling your lower back doing a lot of work during this, just take your feet a little bit further away from your body and carry on with the same movement. If you're feeling your calf muscles doing a lot of work in this, bring your feet a little bit closer to your body and work through the same movement. Those rules apply for whether you're doing the regular version or the more advanced one. But with both of those, I really just want you to focus on that big breath out, squeezing those glutes at the top. Keep working through those. All about staying controlled. Tempo under control, breathing under control. Just got about 15 seconds left on these. And relax off there. We're going to go for a single leg variation now. What I want you to do is bring one foot into the center of the mat, and then with that opposite foot, just cross it over, isolating that first leg. Foot now in line with the spine, same movement. I recommend you all go for the regular version on this. Doing this in the advanced version can be really difficult and might actually put a lot of extra strain on the lower back. So I would go with your regular version. If you're struggling to get to the top of your movement with just one foot down, pop your hands on your hips and keep your elbows on the floor. Push up through the hands as well, giving yourself that extra little boost, a little bit of extra help just to get to the top. Still pushing through the heel, still really squeezing those glutes at the top. And just remember if that lower back feels like it's taking the strain, move your foot away. If your calf muscle's doing a lot of work, bring your foot back. Same rules though, nice slow tempo. It's not about getting loads and loads of reps done, it's about getting high quality reps done. Still staying on that first side for now. Be swapping over in about 15 seconds. Three. Two, one, swap it over, exact same on the other side. Swap it onto that other side. Again, make sure that foot's in line with the spine so it's not stepped off to one side, it brought it central. Adjust the position of the foot if you need to to take the strain off the lower back or calves. And really make those glutes do all the work. Remember your breathing. Every time you hit the top, you've got nice empty lungs. Hold that squeeze for a good couple of seconds if you can at the top. Don't worry about having to add those hands in for a little bit of extra help. And again, just going to go for about another 15 seconds. Three, two, one. Relax off there. When you go into a side lying position, the leg that you did first on those single leg glute bridges on top. So the top leg will be the one you just had rest in. And at this position, what I want you to do is imagine getting a 90 degree angle at the back of your knees. Use your upper body however you want to get comfortable. And what you're going to do from this position is try and take the knees as far apart as you can, all while keeping the heels close together. So you're lifting the top knee up and out behind your body and then controlling down, but keeping those heels as close together as you can. They don't have to be touching, but just keep them close. What you want to avoid is rocking your body, rolling across. So try and keep your whole upper body nice and stable, 
It's just opening that knee up and out, hitting the sides of the glutes on the top. Should feel that kick in after a little while. Got about 15 seconds to go on this side. And in three, two, one, swap it over. Quick change. Again, get that right angle at the back of the knee. Get your positioning, get your upper body supported and comfortable into that same movement. Heels close, lifting the knees up and out to the side, working those glutes on the top leg. Again, really focus on that exhale on the way up. So you've got empty lungs at the top of each rep. It's a lot easier to squeeze your muscles with empty lungs. Got about 15 seconds to go. And relax off that. Next one. And the last one that we're going to do today, what we do is lie completely flat, face down towards the mat. Try and relax the whole upper body. And most importantly, point your toes outwards and heels inwards. From this position, what I want you to do is take a long, slow breath out, push your hips into the floor and squeeze your glutes as hard as you can. Hold that squeeze for as long as you can, all while holding a long, slow exhale. What you want to avoid doing is trying to lift your legs as high as possible. All that's going to do is engage your back muscles. So really keep everything relaxed. Just push the hips into the floor, squeeze the glutes as hard as you can. It will lift your feet and maybe even your knees off the floor and then just hold the squeeze. A long, slow breath out and then relax. Don't worry if you're only getting one rep done every 10 seconds, as long as it's a good rep. Last bit of the glute activation or glute workout that we'll be doing. Just keep your tempo controlled. And really focus on squeezing those glutes as hard as you can and holding that squeeze. Keeping those going, keeping those strong exhales, holding those squeezes. Got about 15 seconds left. <coughs> and have you relaxing off in three, two, one. Relax off there. Right. So what we're going to do, let you briefly catch your breath, shake the legs off a little bit, especially if those glutes are cramping up, just get a bit of movement through them in that lower body. We're going to get onto the leg circuit first. We will be running through it twice. What we're going to do is one minute per exercise, but with a small 20 second break in between each exercise we do. All you're going to need is a bit of space. You can add weights if you want to on certain exercises, but it should be completely fine going body weight all the way as well. We will just be starting off with regular squats. So for that, what you're going to want is feet just outside your hip width apart, toes pointing slightly out. We're going to push the hips back, squat down, drop nice and low, press through the heels, squeeze the glutes at the top. And let's get you into those. In three, two, one. In we go, regular squats. Nice and slow and controlled on the way down. 
Big breath out on the way up, squeeze those glutes at the top. Working through. It is a minute each exercise, so it is quite a bit of time. So keep them slow and controlled. Don't feel like you have to rush through as many reps as possible. Try and get 60 reps done in 60 seconds. That's not what we're looking for at all. We want slow and controlled, full range of motion, good mind muscle connection. 15 seconds left on these. And in three, two, one, relax off there. Next up, we've got RDL pulses. So legs are straight as you can handle. I'll do it with a little bend. You're going to reach low, pull halfway up, reach low, pull halfway up. So you want to feel those hamstrings stretch and then contract. In three, two, one. Here we go. So feet are hit width apart, toes forward. You're reaching as low as you can, pull it up keeping the same angle in the back of the knee, but you're never standing up straight. We're only coming halfway up. The more flexibility you have, the straighter you'll be able to have your legs on these. I always like them with a little bend in the knee though, just to make it so you can still get nice and low. So you're going all the way down halfway up. You want to feel those hamstrings pull tight at the bottom. And imagine squeezing your hamstrings on the way up. Twenty seconds to go. Three, two, one. Relax off there. It's going to be curtsy lunges next. Alternating sides. You're going to step your foot behind and across your body into that lunge, dipping low, pressing into the middle. Front leg does all the pushing work. That front leg's always doing the pushing. And in three, two, one. Here we go. Your hands can go anywhere you want to keep you balanced. What I want you to avoid, though, is pushing off your legs with your hands. So keep your hands out of the way. Just use them for balance. You can put them to the front of your body, out to the side, whichever feels more comfortable. Working through those. Halfway there. Alternating sides, bring that foot round and behind the body. Always breathing out as you stand up, breathing in as you dip down. <coughs> Final 10 seconds. In three, two, one. Relax off there. We're going to go split squats next or isolation lunges. To pick a starting leg, that's going to be forward for the entire minute. You'll be dipping straight down, pressing straight up. Dipping down, pressing up. Make sure you've taken a long enough step to start with. Pick your starting foot and in three, Two, one, here we go. And it's that front leg doing all the work. You're dipping straight down, straight up. Same rules as before. Have your hands up to the front, out to the side, or down, as long as they're not on that front leg, helping you out. Nice controlled tempo. Again, we want high quality reps, not just as many reps as you can squeeze in. Focus on the muscles you're working. Keep the tempo controlled and get the breathing going. And we're going to be swapping over in three, two, one. Swapping legs, but remember you've got 20 seconds before you start. Just get the positioning, get your stance, get yourself ready. We got into those in three, two, one. In we go. Same on the other side. Everyone's got a strong side and a weak side. Everyone's got one side more coordinated than the other. 
So if they feel really alien on this side, just slow them right down. Get used to the movement before you try and get any tempo in there. And remember the breathing, that front leg's still doing all of your pushing work. Halfway there. Final 10 seconds, keep those reps nice and low. I'm gonna have you relaxing off in three, two, one. Nice relax off there. Next one, we're gonna go for sumo calf raises. So feet about double your hip width apart, toes point slightly out, squat down. What you're gonna do is push up onto your toes, pause, control down. Push up onto your toes, pause, control down. In three, two, one and we go so drop into that sumo squat hold in there and we're going calf raises pushing up onto those toes hold the squeeze for a second and then relax quads will start burning as well because of everything else we've done in the set if you need to straighten up for a second to take the pressure off you can Halfway there. Fifteen seconds remaining. Three, two. One, relax off there. Last part we've got is a static hold. You can either do a squat hold or a wall sit, depending on what area you've got. Either way, we want hips and knees level, hands up out the way, and just hold it at the bottom point of that. So, wall sit or squat, it's up to you. In three, two, one, and in. Wall sit or squat hold. Gonna go slightly shorter on this. We're just down to 40 seconds for the wall sit squat hold. Either way, just remember, hips and knees are level, nice and low on these. We're trying to hold that position where the muscles are stretched and they're under strain. If it feels horrible and your legs are burning, you're most likely doing it perfect. <laughs> just over 10 seconds left. Do have a rest break coming up after this to really push those legs through it. Make sure they've earned the rest for three, Two, one, relax, nice. Yeah. Now, take off the legs, exaggerate your walking motion a little bit, just get some movement through the lower body. That's the first of two rounds got. Those exact exercises, same timing, same routine, is gonna go one more time, but just gonna let you recover first. Good time to grab your drinks. Just try and sit little sips, don't take huge gulps. Otherwise, I'll sit horribly in your stomach. And that's really not what you want when we've got the ab work at the end. Right, in about 15 seconds, we're going to get ready to start on squats again. Same rules, just outside hip width apart, toes pointing slightly out. And in three. Two, one, in you go, into those squats. Nice and low, pressing through the heels, not the toes, squeezing the glutes at the top. Halfway there. Keep 
Keeping those going, final few seconds. For three, two, one, relax off there. 20 seconds to breathe, that's those RDL pulses. Just remember, feet hip width apart, toes forward. If you need it, a little bend in the knee, reaching as low as you can, standing up halfway. Low as you can, standing up halfway. In three, two, one, here we go. Never fully standing up, just coming halfway up. Make sure you're feeling those hamstrings pull tight at the bottom part each time. That's the first 20 seconds out of the way, keeping it going. Keep your focus, keep your breathing, keep control on your tempo. All about hitting the hamstrings on this one. Final 10. Three, two, one. Relax off there. Nice. We've got those curtsy lunges next. I'm just alternating sides. Foot's come back and behind. Wrapping around, dipping low. Pressing through that front leg. Back to the middle. Let's get you ready. In three, two, one. In you go. Leg wrapping behind and across the body, dip down low, push through the front leg, driving back to the center. Again, still focusing on high quality reps, not looking for loads and loads and loads. Whatever tempo works to keep control of your form and breathing, that's the tempo you want to work with. <clears throat> Over halfway. And in three, two, one, relax off there. Pick a starting leg. We've got those isolation lunges next. I'll start with the same leg you started with last time, but it won't make a huge difference if you go for the other one. Let's just get you set, get positioning, and we'll go into those in three, two, one. Here we go. Dipping straight down, pressing up. Make sure you've got big enough distance between the feet. If you find yourself really wobbly, it's most likely you've taken too short of a step for that lunge. Just adjust it where you need to. Try and make sure you get nice and low on these. And remember that back foot, all it's there for is to keep your balance. You're not pushing through the back foot at all. As little weight as possible through that back leg. Final 15 seconds before we swap over. In three, two, one, relax. 20 seconds to breathe. And then we're going to be jumping on. Same movement on the opposite side. Just get your positioning ready. Get yourself set. Make sure you're confident where you are with your stance. Stance. And in three, two, one, and we go. Dipping down, pressing up. Working through those. Make sure that breathing still under control. Front leg doing all the work. Halfway there. Final 
Final 10 seconds. Keeping those high quality reps going. Gonna have you relaxing off in three, two, one. Relax off there. Step those feet into that sumo stance. It's those sumo stance calf raises coming up next. We're gonna drop to the bottom of your sumo squat. Pop up onto your toes, control down. Pop up onto your toes, control down. In three, two, one. Here we go. Drop to the bottom of that sumo squat. And then calf raises. Try and keep your hips down as much as you can. What you want to avoid is standing halfway up as you press onto your toes. Keep those hips down there. All about working those calves. Your quads should be burning. It's completely normal if your quads are screaming at you while doing these. Just gone past halfway. Final 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Relax off there, catch your breath. Get your feet ready. Wall sit or squat hold coming up depending on where you're training. And that is gonna be the end of the leg workout. Let's get ready. Really try and make sure the hips are right down there level with the knees. In three, two, one, straight down into your wall sit or squat hold. Keep hands off lap, hands off laps. So no leaning on your elbows, no holding your knees. Get those hands up out of the way, wherever you want them to be. For balance, just somewhere out of the way so you know you're not going to use them. And we're here for 40 seconds. And we've just hit that 20 second mark, so you're halfway there. There's the 30 second mark. Just gonna be holding that hold for three, two, one. Relax off there. Get your breath back, shake those legs off, grab your drinks. Again, just gentle sips and let yourselves recover. Got about a minute to recover. Then we're gonna move on to the ab workout. Quite a short ab workout today. And we're focusing on our static hold. So what we're gonna do, is going to go from a short arm plank to a long arm plank to a dish hold. So I'll go over those three now quickly for you. So your short arm plank is going to be four arms down on your toes, trying to keep your hips and shoulders level, nice flat back, core squeezed. You're then going to move up into a long arm plank, same rules on your toes, hips and shoulders level, core squeezed. And then going to go for a quick change into a dish hold. Main focus on this is keep your lower back on the floor. Don't let it arch up, but push the lower back into the floor, extend the arms and legs. And with this, if you want to take away some of the intensity, which there is a lot of, just draw the knees and elbows in slightly to take some pressure off. We're going to hold each one for 20 seconds. And we're going to get ready for those in about 10 seconds time. So short arm plank coming up first, get yourselves ready. In three, two, one, into that short arm plank. Forearms and toes down, breathing controlled, core squeezed. 10 seconds gone, halfway there. Want you to move into your long arm plank in three, two, one, long arm planks. Up onto the hands, arms straight. Hip shoulders level, core squeezed. Try and keep your breathing as natural as you can throughout this. It will feel really tempted to hold your breath, but please don't. And quick change to your dish in three, two, one. Dish holds, quick rotation. Make sure that lower back stays on the mat. Breathe it down into the mat. Almost putting a small arch into your back. 10 seconds gone, 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, relax, nice. Get your breath, let yourselves recover. We're gonna go through that same, th those same three 
in about 45 seconds time. So we're gonna look for one more lot of that same circuit. Right, let's get you ready. Get your position in, starting off with that short arm plank, and we'll go into that in three, two, one, into that short arm plank. So forearms down, toes down, hips and shoulders level, breathing controlled. Halfway there. Going to change that into a long arm plank in three, two, one. Palms down, up into that long arm plank, extend the arms, get those hips and shoulders level, squeeze that core and keep your breathing normal. Just gone through half of it. Quick change to your dish in three, two, one. Into that dish hold. Remember to draw the elbows and knees in a little bit if you need to, to take some pressure off. Keep that hold. We've got 15 seconds left of work in the class, and then you're there. Class complete, happy days, stretch down, cool down time. For five, four, three, two, one. Relax off completely there. Spot on, guys. Get your breath back, get your recovery, grab your drinks. That is all the hard work out the way. So just let yourselves breathe for a sec. You can unmute now if you want to unmute. Just going to give you a minute to breathe before we get onto the cool down. Right, how are you all feeling? Yeah, that was good. Yeah, very good, Matt. Thank you. Very good. Good, good, good. Yeah. Hard work. Yeah, very hard. Yeah, but good. Happy days. Happy days. Right. Thank okay. you. Press the cool yeah. down. Press the cool down. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank so, you. Matt. Right. Not going to improve your flexibility. Not going to improve your flexibility. Well, I'll take. So, stop. So, stop. 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 Two of the part, toes forward, toes forward, push the hips down, push the hips down, low as you can, without bending at the knee, without bending at the knee. Should feel that in your hamstrings, and then your hamstrings, and then on your track, and on your track. And then big breath out, and then big breath out. Hips forward, weight on your heels, take weight on your heels, take it. Relax off there. I'm going to go on to quad yeah, deck. Going on to quad deck. Yeah. For a little bit of balance if you need to. A little bit of balance if you need to. I wasn't Balance. Balance. Uh, swapping, same on the other. Swapping, same on the other. And relax off there. Next. Relax off there. Next. Hug both those arms out. Hug both those arms out. Push your head. Push your shoulders away. Push your shoulders away. And hug those arms all the way around. Hug those arms all the way around. On the bottom of the lower back, chest forward. Lower back, chest forward. On your back. On your back. That's probably 
and shoulders, and shoulders, body, looking over the direction. And swap it over, same way as swap it over, same way as. And finally, tricep, literally, tricep, hold up, pushing your elbow, pushing your elbow. And then swap, same on the other one, swap, same on the other one. And relax off, relax off, 